thank you to everyone who's been uh, driving far to see me. Uh, it's been one of the, by far the most uh, great years I've had in touring. Um, if you want to come to an upcoming show, check out upcoming cities right here. Boom. I got all types of shows coming up. I got Boston, Massachusetts, uh, Austin, Texas, Columbus, Ohio, and then I got LA May 12th at the Regent Theater. Um, that show's almost sold out. And uh, yeah, if you want to see me, go to my website, martinamini.com. All right? I love you guys. Cha, 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 cha. Talk about what happened the first time you came to Detroit. Oh my God, and yeah. And they can insert. <laughs> Dude, first time I came to Detroit, it was like a, almost a year ago, and um, we had someone in the audience from Shelby. Uh, they said, oh, it's the suburbs, they're soft. And uh, she kept talking, and I was like, look, if you, got, if you keep talking, we're going to have to ask you to leave. And unfortunately, we asked her, to, you know, we had to kick her out. And dude, this this lady from Shelby, she, uh, she ended up fighting the security, hitting one of them, and then running back into the show and slamming on the door. Boom, boom, boom. Martin, I'll get you for this. And the entire time, I'm just freaking out. I'm like, I'm never making fun of the suburbs again. True story that happened. Do we have footage of that? Yes. There's a clip of it. And you can hear her in the back. Martin! <laughs> <laughs> and he's on stage like, I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I was, I, was, uh, I was scared. I was scared to be attacked by a woman, bro. Because you can't hit back. Actually, That's that a crime. that was the year that... Comedians were getting taken out. It was like Will Smith with Chris Rock, and then it was Dave Chappelle at the Hollywood Bowl. Yeah, and then Martin Amini. Here in Detroit, Michigan, at the House of Comedy. <laughs> was she small? Was she a small lady? No, nah, she was six foot two. She was pretty big. Oh shit! Yeah, she was taking out a couple security guards. That they've never seen. That's never happened before at the House of Comedy. Black people make some noise. Oh hey, shout out to my black people. Are y'all from Detroit too? Nice, nice. What part? Of, what part of Detroit? Okay. Yeah, that was like the white guilt came out. <laughs> you you snitched on yourself. I didn't even ask about the white side. I said black people make some noise. Like I'm half white. <laughs> I didn't even ask about the white side. I, I didn't say white people make some noise. So what part of Detroit are you from? Uh, I mean. Okay. <laughs> this is a confusing <laughs> audience. I ain't mad at that. What, what part? What part of the suburbs? Shelby, hey, shout out to Sh hey, Shelby. You out here? Y Shelby in the building? Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah. yeah. We're there. Shut the yeah. up. <laughs> hey, Shelby, you had your chance. <laughs> now shut the up. Suburbs, I ain't afraid of you. <laughs> yeah, man. Get it. Yeah. All right. Well, the white side's really annoying right now. <laughs> the, wh the white side is showing right now. The black side is cool, but the white side is like. I'm about to kick the Karen out. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. I don't want to, you know, tell you to leave, but I got I to gotta do jokes. Yeah, yeah, you got to, like, yeah, yeah. Is this your first comedy show? Yeah. Okay, that's why. <laughs> Nurse extern. Okay. <laughs> Is there any cops to arrest this <laughs> Hey, Is there any Detroit cops right here that could just escort this <laughs> out? Yeah, you're stressing me out, bro. I, I might need a nurse. <laughs> Did they kick that out? <laughs> Yeah, oh my god. You can hear in the back still like I'm from Shelby, I'm half white. The, the white side was coming, I'll report you to nature. I'm like, shut the up. Research. Oh. Yes. Oh my god. We, hey, we we gotta we gotta we gotta do a GoFundMe for the security here. <laughs> Overtime tonight. They came back, bro. Hey, yo, give it up for the security guards, man. Detroit, wow. It's like someone that gets knocked out. They fall down. They're like, oh, it's not over yet. Oh, I'm not done. He's going to hear about this. <laughs> yo, someone walk me to my hotel. <laughs> so I was, I was, uh, it was not nice to be me that day. <laughs> not nice to be me that day. <laughs> it was not nice to be Martin that day. <laughs> we watched something last night uh, that was kind of gay, dude. Jared Carmichael's new uh, reality TV show. Yeah, man. Shout out to Jared. <laughs> Jared Carmichael. His, yeah. new, uh, his new show on HBO. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's, uh, it's a must-see with all your homies. 
Get all your most masculine homies in a room, sit them on a couch, and watch Gerard Carmichael, his show on uh, HBO. Yeah, Martin said that he wanted to show me because of the cinematography, the editing, and the first scene was like, Gerard just sucking on some toes, and I was like, okay. I'm like, this is art. I'm like, this is what we need to do on tour. <laughs> how, do you feel that? how do you feel about that, Charlene? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice, bro. Detroit White? Hell yeah, big dog. Thank you for being here, man. Did you grow up in Detroit or not? I did. Fuck yeah, bro. I, and, uh, and tell me your name, big dog. Daniel. Daniel, nice to meet you, Daniel. Wow. You talk like that? Can I talk like you're from Southwest Detroit, dog? Like, hey, Daniel, nice to meet you, bro. These are your homies, right? These are, yeah, you know, and where, where are your homies from? And then, and what about, and what about this? You're both from Iraq. How come Daniel didn't know that? He was, he was, he wasn't, he wasn't confident. He was like, I think they're, they're brown, dog. <laughs> I didn't take their paperwork, but they, they here. Did y'all grow up together? Or? No, I mean, Homie? I just met him today. Oh, you just met him today? <laughs> hey, you try. Right oh, yeah. you should have said that shit. You made, <laughs> yeah, you, you, you made it like seem like you just hired them like to be here. <laughs> like, can you sit in the front with me? <laughs> That's what's up, bro. Oh, most of your friends are over there too. No, no, I said we heard them over there. Oh, oh. but this is your friend. This is your Iraqi friend. Yeah. How do you know Daniel? Uh, I met him through a friend. You met him through a friend. <laughs> Daniel, <laughs> are you smuggling Iraqis <laughs> to fucking Detroit, Michigan, bro? What kind of service are you running over here? And you got, he got, dog, oh, this motherfucker got an Al Qaeda beard. I swear to God. <laughs> Daniel, can you come here and show the audience your fucking beard, dog? Look at his fucking beard. Every time I look at his beard, it's like, oh, how do you look more Iraqi than your Iraqi friend, bro? Yo, Iraqi dude, come here real quick. Yo, you look like a white dude from East Lansing. <laughs> and this is like, this is like fucking Ahmed from fucking Dearborn. Yo, whoa, whoa, yo, whoa. I feel like I buy hummus from this dude and I fucking buy fucking uh, your drugs from this guy. All right. Well, give it up for Daniel one time. Keep it going, you gotta have a seat, bro. And, um. That's fucking cool, man. So, you, I'll be honest, uh, you guys are kind of sketchy. <laughs> Nothing about this friendship or relationship seems legit. It doesn't seem like a, I don't want to question your friendship, but uh, I feel like it would, I don't know if it's based on like, you know, wholesome activities. <laughs> you know what I mean? Vacation. Vacation? Yeah. That sounds gay now. <laughs> Which we don't judge, we don't judge. It's 2024, just, you know, we can't post about it. Your family can't know about that stuff, you know? Yeah. Whatever, you know, but... <laughs> okay, so you guys met on vacation? No, no. I met him through a friend. On vacation? Uh, we, were, we went to a vacation together. And it he was there, and, Dan and Daniel was there. And, yeah. Okay, okay. And so Daniel showed up at the vacation spot. Yeah, yeah. And, and did he have things with him? <laughs> it was, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the best, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, right now. He's like, yeah. You'd rather switch on him than be gay. <laughs> So he's a drug dealer, he's a drug dealer. All right, I'm not gay, I'm not gay. <laughs> Don't worry, Daniel, we say ja, 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 and no one believes you. You're not a drug, we know you're not. It's okay, it's okay. Well, very cool, man, it's very cool. It's cool to see, that. yeah. That's a very uh, Detroit thing, right? Like for a white dude to be friends with an Iraqi, that's not uncommon here in Detroit. It's very, it's very popular, right? You know, and the Iraqi, you, you put them on to all the cool, you know, uh, yeah. The restaurants and everything. Oh yeah, the Doma and all. Doma, you, you put them on to Doma. <laughs> yeah, the hummus. <laughs> have you have you taught them any uh, Arabic yet? Uh, Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Oh shit! <laughs> God damn, bro. That's that, was that was scary. Oh, maybe he is smuggling you guys. <laughs> God damn, fucking. Nice, bro. Tell me your name. Sam. Uh, Sam? Yeah. Uh, do you have like a, an Arabic name or does your parents name you Sam? Uh, Samuel. Samuel. Samuel? Samuel. 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 No, I didn't say anything. Okay. Oh, see, Daniel said, <laughs> Daniel said it's a safe space. <laughs> Sam, really what's your real <laughs> Arabic name? This is on man. Shlemo. Eh, Shlem? Shlemo. Shlemo. Yeah. Shlemo? <laughs> is that a common? No. 
Is that is, is that a common slemo? Slemo sounds like a special ed. <laughs> I'm not, I'm just saying if I. <laughs> Cause like Shlemo is, I mean like if you call someone Shlemo, I don't know what it, is, is there a meaning behind Shlemo? Is there like a, like I don't a know, it's my uncle's name, he died in the war in Iraq. Okay, okay, so Shlemo, yeah. you're named after Uncle Shlemo? Yeah. <laughs> so I got, didn't name myself, bro. Okay, yeah. okay, so like yeah. maybe when you were younger, they didn't really believe in you. No. <laughs> we're gonna call him, this guy, he's a little bit slow, he's gonna call him Shlemo. <sighs> I love the way you, 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 you stare at me. <laughs> No, nah, he's a, he's a, he's an older he's a, he's a cool older cool old guy. Uh, I don't know how to make it sound cool, but he's cool. But he's like studying me, like ooh yes. You have to fuck the pussy like that. <laughs> Toxic masculinity, yes, yes. Very nice. Nice to meet you, sir. And what's you know. <laughs> Middle Middle Eastern? Yes, Lebanese. Lebanese. Wow. Are you Daniel's father? <laughs> He's been looking for his dad this whole time. <laughs> nice to meet you, sir. Lebanese, wow, very cool. And tell me your name? Sammy. Sammy. Are, it, that's your real, it's not slow-mo? <laughs> slow-mo. No, that's what we call you in the hood, slow-mo. Slow-mo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, now you're getting it. Ja, 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 bitch. <laughs> he called me backpack for those who didn't hear in the back. Sammy, nice to meet you, Sammy. Thank you for being here. And who are these uh, lovely ladies with you? My sister and her friend. Her, your sister and the friend. Very nice, man. Wow, very cool. And you guys all, are you guys from the Detroit area? We're from Dearborn. Dearborn, very nice. Oh, wow, Dearborn here? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Dearborn has one of the highest concentrations of... Yeah. Yes. Arab, Middle Eastern Arab? Yes. Arab, that's right, Arab in the country, huh? Yes. Very cool, man. A lot of, a lot of uh, Lebanese, Ooh. Iraqi, yeah. and others. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking cool, man, fucking badass. And uh, Lebanese, what's the dialect in Lebanon? Arabic. Arabic, Arabic. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, all right? Como se dice, I'm learning. This is how you learn, you ask questions. <laughs> Arabic. And, uh, it's also French. There's French, it right? Be a French colony. Yeah, there you go, see? <laughs> French, you know what I mean? Can you teach me some Arabic? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Very cool, man. Let's say I'm in, uh, let's say I'm in bed. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my wife. And I'm with my wife. And I got her, I got her like this. And I want to say some fucking really sexual, sexy, something sexy in Arabic. In Arabic, how? What, what, what's a good thing to say in this in this position? I don't know. I've never said it in Arabic. <laughs> <laughs> fucking slow mo over here. <laughs> okay, you never, you never in bed. You never, you never said no Arabic shit. Like, it was actually either in English or in French. Like I've never. Oh, French. Arabic. You know French? Like, yeah. What's your? Okay, tell me something in French. Thank you, Sebon. Ooh, hold on. <laughs> Holy fuck, bro. That shit. That shit sounded like you ordered a croissant, dog. Let's <laughs> All right, everyone, shut the fuck up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Sam say it one more time, so y'all motherfuckers can take notes. All right, Sam. One, hold on. Putain, que c'est bon. Hey, oh, he, hey, man, he's married. <laughs> He doesn't want to fuck your pizza. <laughs> okay, hold on, Sam. Actually, I got divorced last year, so. Oh. Okay. He wants to see your pita. <laughs> the hot pockets. <laughs> Call back. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, very fucking Sam. He's ready to go, bro. Okay, so I heard the first. The first word was pita. Pita. No, putain. Put, oh, putain. It's like saying bitch or puta. Like, putain. Oh, putain. Oh, putain. Oh, putain. Oh, putain. Oh, Gary, shut the fuck up. I like this guy. Next thing he's gonna be like, you spit on him. Putain, putain. But it's like in a more uh, French way. Putain. Puta. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm familiar. Putain, yeah, we have in Spanish too. Putain. Yeah. Okay, putain, and then what up? Que c'est bon. 
Fuck, that's good. Oh, putak. Kresamo. Kresamo. Putak, kresamo. Que c'est bon. Que c'est bon. Puta crescebo. Puta crescebo. Puta crescebo. Okay, what's the French way? Putain que c'est bon. Putain que c'est bon. Oh oh oh. Fuck it, motherfucker. Hey, you want the Arabic translation? Yeah, what's the Arabic translation? Hello, I'm born. Putain crescent bon. How's that? Putain crescent bon. Crowd, did y'all learn that? Yeah. On three, we're gonna say putain crescent bon. One, two, three. One more time. Putain crescent bon. Putain crescent bon. Oh, this crowd's sexual, dog. I like that, bro. I like that. 40 years, y'all could use that shit too. All right. Now we got some. We got some words. We're learning. We're we're uh, we're enhancing. The, we're taking the vibes. We're taking it up a notch. But you guys know everything about what I did tonight. I'm I'm wholesome. This is all very like y'all might not seem like this is very wholesome PG-13 vibes. We're here. We're, not, it's not about PG-13. It's more about like uh, I'm trying to promote healthy relationships. But Sam, like you said, you know, put that crescent on. Fuck, that's good. That's, you know what that is in English? That's positive affirmations. <laughs> right? Ladies, in the bedroom, don't you, like, don't you want to know sometimes when, you're, like, when, the, when, when your pussy's good? You want, what, what better to, you know, hear, like, you know, your corazón is so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the best corazón I ever had in my life. Oh, 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 oh. True story, I did this fucking in Montreal. I did ho 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 for like way too long. And Montreal hated me. <laughs> I just kept going ho 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 ho. And they were like, okay, we get it. You do, you know, you know, we speak French here, okay. Uh, I don't do well internationally. <laughs> All right, so we got, we got, okay, we learned some words. Put the crescent on. I can give you a different one you never probably hear. Whoa. Oh ho ho ho. That accent was aggressive, bro. You sound like you fuck guys. <laughs> I can tell you something you have not heard before. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. That was, uh, I like that. That was very, uh, I like how you took control of the moment. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, bro. Can, can, can you come on stage and say it? <laughs> wow, here it comes, man. Oh. I, oh, shit, it's a guy the whole time? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what does your shirt say? <laughs> come here. I got it, I got it, oh my god. You read that wrong. You read that wrong. No, okay. The voice doesn't match the face. <laughs> okay, buddy, what's your, wait, what's your name? Andre. Andre, nice to meet you, Andre. And where are you from? I'm from Iraq. Okay, very cool, man. All right, what do you got for us, big dog? Yeah. So, I'm a Syrian from Iraq. Um, so, you'll say, obviously, the position that you did. Okay, no, no. <laughs> You're not getting my croissant. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, now you can say it. Sorry, now. Huh? No, no. No, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, yeah, yeah, no, 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 you no, no. No, you, you, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. Okay, okay, no, yeah, yeah. the crap. No, 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 Sierra. Give us that sexual voice you just gave us up there. All right, come on. All right, so obviously she's lying down here. All right, well, the good thing you say, the beautiful thing you say is air up. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, you're doing good, you're doing good. So era, 
we say it's for something good, it means dick. Like era, like something very nice. Very nice. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Not in that way, not, I'm not gay, okay? So. <laughs> Yo, no question is sexuality at all. <laughs> that was the one thing he took away. I'm not gay, I'm not gay. Just, we just like dick, okay? Era, era, era. I don't like era in me, I like to give era. All right, you got, you're doing good, you're doing good. Khaliyakuta. Khaliyato. Khali. Ahatuta. Ahatuta. Puta. Puta. Means I'll eat this pussy. Oh, wow. Is this, is this true? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right, now act it out. Uh, a microphone? Never make it. Yeah. Khaliyakuta. Yo, give it up for my boy one time, bro. Nice. Have a seat. God damn. That was the most shyest way. He looked like he tried to put a spell on the pussy. Oh man, that was cute. It was still a little whole. It was. I think it was still in the realm of wholesome. I thought that was kind of wholesome. A little. A little. A little, a little no, it wasn't wholesome. No. Yeah, it was cute. Cochino? Yeah? No, he was, uh, he, he just wanted to share with the class. <laughs> he was so excited, too. He came on, he was like, yes, I will share it with everybody. <laughs> All right, so we learned a lot of words. We learned a lot of, we learned Arabic, we learned French. Uh, we got some Spanish, you know? Uh, all right, well, let's, you know, let's see, let's see. We got a, we got a, uh, we got, I want to see if we got any, um, is there any single guys here right now? Single guys? <laughs> Wow, what was that? <laughs> One Middle Eastern guy in the back? Two? Okay, what's your name, big dog? Ahmad. Ahmad, nice to meet you. And where's your family from? Half Lebanese, half Syrian. Half Lebanese, half Syrian? Nice to meet you. And do you have a job? <laughs> huh? You? Trucking. Trucking? Very nice, bro. And um, how long have you been single for, Ahmad? Would you say, Ahmad, that you're ready to be in a, a, a wholesome, happy relationship? One? Are you ready to be in a, in, a, in a good, healthy relationship? You're looking. You're working on it. Okay. And do you respect women? Yes? Okay. All right. Do you want to come on stage, Ahmad? All right, guys. Keep it going for Ahmad one time. We're going to give him an opportunity, Sam, and see what Ahmad... He's mixed, he said. All right, and then what else we got? Any other, uh, any other single guys? I, I know you are, dog. I know you are. Ahmad, nice to meet you, man. Very nice to meet you, bro. You're a little, t okay, it's okay. You're doing good. We're gonna, we're gonna find somebody. You're, you're, you're a good looking dude, you know? We're gonna, find, we're gonna find you, we're gonna find you, see if we can find you something. I'll do most of the talking. Okay. Don't say. Is there any other single guys? Yeah. Yeah. Where? Right here. What's his name? You can ask him. Whoa. Hey, who the fuck? I know exactly. Oh, this guy. What's your name? Del. What is it? Del. Del. Like the computer? <laughs> All right. And uh, what do you do for a living? Huntington Bank. Do you want Dell? You want to come on stage? Yo, keep it going for Dell one time, guys. All right, so we got Ahmad, we got Dell, and then this is the last call. Any any other single guys right now? Okay, I, I let the ladies. Should we let our it was Syrian, Syrian Iraqi? You got ladies? You want to see the? They said. <laughs> you know, I think you gave him a demonstration, and I don't know. Come back, we're gonna work on some stuff next year. We'll circle back. Dell, very, very nice to meet you, Dell. Keep it going for Dell one time, man. Very nice. Keep it going for Ahmad again. All right, is there any other single guys on this? What's your name? What is it? What's your name? And who's this girl next to you? Are, yeah, are you guys just friends or are y'all hooking up? All right, it, yeah, it ain't so, yeah. That's complications. 
I think these, I think, ladies, I think these two guys are good, huh? Yeah? Okay. Okay, is there any other? What kind of guys do you like then? What do you like? You wanna, we got any single Latino guys? What's your name, bro, bro? What is it? Charles. Charles, you wanna come on stage? Keep it going for Charles one time. All right. Damn, Dell, you, you buff as fuck, bro. How'd you get so big? Years of practice. Years of practice, nice to meet you. Charles, nice to meet you, bro, bro. And where's your, where's your, where's your family from? Cuban. Now, yo, keep it going for Charles one time, man. All right, guys. Come on, get a little, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Charles, what do you do for a living and where do you live? Oh, I go to GBSU. Okay, fire, man. So you're still, what are you majoring? Health and Information Management. And what's your goals? What do you want to do for a living, like in the future? What's one of your dreams? I want to have an office job. Okay. <laughs> nice, bro. Fire, bro. And uh, is there anything particular you want to do at the office? Or? Uh, just work from home. You want to work from home? You seem like a chill, laid back guy, you know? Pretty are, would you say you're romantic? I try to be. Yeah. And what kind of girls do you typically date? Latinas, black. If they got a big butt, I'll go for it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, man. You like that croissant? <laughs> okay, cool, man. All right. And uh, and Dell, what kind of what kind of girls do you typically date, big dog? Attractive. <laughs> Gotta be good looking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, how long you been single for, Dell? Uh, about eight months. Okay, so you're getting, you're ready to get back out there. Would you say that, uh, are, you, are you more of, um, what's your, like, what's your love language, bro? How do you show affection with women? No. <laughs> nice, bro. You got, you like, you like, your, yeah, you like, you like, yeah, all right. You're more of a touch type of physical, yeah? All right. That's your love language? Yeah, it is. Uh, you're scaring me. <laughs> it's okay. He might be a good lover, but he also looks like a serial killer, too. <laughs> but he's a romantic. It's, I, think he, I think he's a guy romantic. Let me just say, what's your idea of romance, bro? Like, where would you take a, a beautiful girl here in Detroit, like, on a, on a first date? You know, I might take him out for some dinner, make sure that you open the door for him, pull out the chair, you know, treat him like a woman. There we go, man. Yo, keep it going for Dell one time. What's Omad? Ahmed? Ahmed, Ahmed. Okay, Ahmed, he's been single for a little bit. He's, he's, he wants to get back out there again. He's, a tr he's in trucking, correct? Yeah. And, uh, and do you, what are your, some of your goals for the future, bro? You seem young. What, what do you want to do when you, when you get older? Uh, looking to buy a house soon. So that's one of my first goals. And yeah, just get my business bigger. And hopefully in a couple of years, I want to own a restaurant. So. Fire, bro. And um, so the girls have a little bit more uh, insight on your personality. Uh, what, what would you do, what would you take a girl, a, a beautiful girl here in Detroit on a, on, a, on, a, on a romantic first date? Like, what would you, how would you win them over? I mean, apparatus Room sounds good. Highlands, it's in the uh, Renders House building, it's downtown, 71st floor. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, I also agree with my brother right here. Same thing about what he said, open the door, pull a chair. Yeah. You got a very romantic voice, too. <laughs> kind of like a, you know, smooth operator type of vibes. I like that, man. All right, first off, give it up for all these guys for coming on stage. All right. <clears throat> We're gonna start down here with my Cuban homie. He's a student, but he's got big goals. He wants to work in an office one day. He's fun. I've known him for 10 minutes, but he seems like a very nice guy. He's very sweet. Would you say you're shy or outgoing? Uh, in the middle. You're more of a introvert, extrovert type, hybrid. Yeah, very cool. And um, yeah, do you, do, uh, do you smoke weed or anything? I did, but I freaked out and I'm never doing it again. Okay, he's a very wholesome guy. He won't lie to you, he's very wholesome, all right? And uh, Charles. Charles. Charles, all right. Uh, is there any single girls interested in going on a date with Charles? Make some noise right now. <laughs> wow. You know what, Charles, you know? Ooh. What, what happened? Who, why'd you yell like that? Are you, is, is your, are you interested or your friend? <laughs> Who's your? Oh, uh, what, and what's your friend's name? What? What's your friend's name? Brienne. Brienne. Brienne, is this true or is, she, is your, Brienne, are you interested in Charles or not? I don't know. Aw, Brienne. Yeah, that's not a no. Brienne, should we get, should Brienne come on stage? 
Yo, keep it going for Brienne one time. Wow. That was crazy, bro. I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> but you know, I feel like uh, you seem like a low-key guy. I don't know, Brienne, she seems like she's a little bit shy. Maybe she's more low-key. Maybe you guys might fit each other. Hi. Yo, keep it going for Brienne one time. <laughs> nice to meet you, Brienne. Oh, They're all shy together. Like, <laughs> And Brian, what do you do for a living out here? I'm in school. Oh, like him. Where do you go to school? Michigan State. Oh, fucking cool, man. Nice, bro. So you're two, both of y'all in school. Y'all study a lot. Y'all, how many years you got left? Uh, two more. And what about you? I think two more. <laughs> Boom. They can study together, you know? Do you remember what uh, Sam taught us? Uh, both do buck. What? The French? Bus du Quebec? Bus du Quebec. No, Sam, one more time for Charles. Putain que c'est bon. Putain que c'est bon. Putain que c'est bon. No, don't look at her now. <laughs> Putain que c'est bon. You think that was romantic? I guess so, yeah. <laughs> hey, crowd, what do you think? You think they should go on a first date together? Fire, bro. Well, listen, I know they're both shy, you know? Uh, if y'all want to hug it out, you know, get, you know, get her Instagram. Oh, don't dab it. Don't, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, keep it going for Charles one time and this beautiful girl from Michigan State. Thank you guys for coming. You can get off the stage now. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> Went separate ways. Like, you know, I ain't going to see that motherfucker again in my life, dog. All right, Dell, we're going to see, man. I like Dell a lot. He, he likes to use his hands. He's, he's very he's sexual. He's romantic. He's a man's man. And he's looking for a woman. He wants to take care of the woman, be romantic, you know, give her the corazón. All right, man. Is there any single girls interested in Dell? Make some fucking noise right now. Ooh. All right. What's your name? Nicole, nice to meet you, Nicole. Do you want to come on stage and say hi to Dell? Yeah. All right, keep it going for Nicole one time. Wow. Let's see. Oh, yeah. She's a. Uh, she's tiny. Come on, Nicole. Come on, say. She's tiny. Dell, you're going to break this girl, dog. <laughs> nice to meet you, Nicole. You want to say hi to Dell? Aw. Nicole, what, uh, what, what, what caught your eye about Dell? Like, what'd you like about him? What didn't I like? I don't know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and Dell, would you say that, um, Nicole, would you, do you find her attractive? Oh, very. <laughs> nice, bro, they got some chemistry, bro. <laughs> and um, and uh, do you have any questions for Dell? Where are we going on the first date? <laughs> I like that, straight to the point, you know? All right, Dell, where would you want to take on the first date? Bring it to a comedy show. Nah, don't be cheap, dog. We already here. <laughs> Homie already trying to save money, bro. Nah, I, well, we want to see, she, you know, she's a beautiful girl. He, obviously, that was a joke. He was at least trying to show his personality. I guess I'd like to have some conversation to find out the type of things that she likes so I know where to take her. Does she like uh, theater? Does she like to, uh, you know? Ask her. Ask her right now. <laughs> Ask her. She's right here, dog. Ask her what she like. What, what kind of music do you like? Maybe we could go to a concert. Behind the curtain. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, it's okay. What, what, what's your What's your interest? Like, what do you What do you think is romantic? Um, you know, I'm a big bowler. You know, I like anything competitive. You know, like, what do you What do you do? She likes to play with balls. These are jokes. She likes bowling. You need a good You need a good bowling alleys. Yeah, all right. Well, fuck you. Guys, what do you think? They're a good match? <laughs> all right. Dell, come on this way. Please step forward. You guys are here. Let's see what they look like next to each other. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I think it yeah, is, man. Hell yeah, man. Good vibes, girl. Sam, yeah? Approved. All right, guys. What do you guys think? Good match? All right. Sometimes at my shows, people like to yell out beso. Sometimes, yeah, they yell out. Sometimes people like to kiss, but if y'all want, you can exchange information and give each other a hug, high five, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, get the number. He wants to get the, your number, is okay? Oh, nice, bro. Yeah, call it so we know it's real. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Damn, we watching this shit live. <laughs> All right, y'all can do this backstage, bro. We gotta wrap this up. Yo, keep it going for Dell, man. One time for this beautiful girl. Nice to meet you, dog. Last but not least, Habibi. <laughs> Ahmed is ready to get back out there, man. You know, he's looking for a, a girl to share a rest stop with, you know? <laughs> is there any girls interested in Ahmed? Make some fucking noise right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, in the back, what's your name? Juliana, nice to meet you. You want to come on stage and say hi to Ahmed? Yo, keep it going for Juliana one time. All right. We got one girl over there. Is there any other girls interested in Ahmed? What's your name? Alyssa, you want to come on stage, Alyssa? Oh, shit. Yeah, man. This was his dream back home. So is, this is Juli Juliana. Nice to meet you, Juliana. Nice to meet you. Keep, keep it going for Juliana and Alyssa one time. Alyssa, nice to meet you. Juliana, where's your family from? Guatemala and Honduras. All right, so Guatemala and Honduras. And uh, what do you do out here in Detroit? Um, I go to school at Wayne. Oh, fire, man. And what do you want to do when you graduate? Um, I have no idea yet. <laughs> but right now I work at a law office, a law firm. So that's where I'm at right now. Very cool, man. All right, man. Keep it going for Juliana one time. <laughs> Alyssa, uh, what do you do for a living? And, uh, and where do you live in Detroit? kind of outside of Detroit in Roseville, and I work in like a senior living building, so I just help the elderly. Oh, nice. oh, that's very sweet, Alyssa. Keep it going for Alyssa, very sweet. Well, I think, I think both Juliana and Alyssa are very sweet girls. They seem like very nice, very calm, very cute. It takes a lot of confidence to come on stage. Uh, how would you, yeah, what'd you guys think about Ahmed? Like, what'd you like about him that like struck your eye, you know? Um, he's attractive. Yeah, he's very attractive. Um, he said he's a trucker. You make good money. Uh, <laughs> and then um, he said he wanted to buy a house, so it seems like he's trying to, you know, level up, get himself yeah. together. So. Yeah, he's a little cutie, huh? Compact and everything. <laughs> you can just put him in your pocket and just like, all right, bitch, we're going on a trip. <laughs> all right, all right. Alyssa, what'd you like about Ahmed? Honestly, he has a nice voice, though. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of a nice, very sexual, very sexy voice, huh? <laughs> yeah. Can I ask how tall are you? <laughs> I'm not afraid to answer that. Well, I don't know. 5'5", five, five, I guess. 5'5 oh. five, five with brown eyes. He's cute. <laughs> yeah, man. Nah, he's, he's, I think he's a cutie, man. Um, do you have any questions for any other questions? Ooh. Yeah, man. All right, so ladies, they're both, they're both. Yeah. Are you, are you still, are you, you guys are feeling, all right. So like, uh, Ahmed. You have beautiful girls, bro. Juliana and Alyssa. I think they're very pretty. Where would you want to take them on a romantic, big, romantic date? Um, just some restaurant downtown, I guess. Is there any girls you're feeling right now? Not really. You, he said he's not really. So there's, you're, are you split or you're not just interested? You want to ask him any questions? I mean, what is like the first goal in like within the next five years? Oh, wow. Ahmed, he got, he got deep on <laughs> Oh, they want to know how old you are. 23. Yeah, he's young. So what's, what's, your, yeah, what's your goals in the next five years? Yeah, probably like move out, get my own place, you know, work, travel. I like traveling a lot. Yeah. They're young, bro. They're, they're like you. <laughs> Everyone on this stage is broke as fuck right now. <laughs>you scared that bitch <laughs> all right well shit man i think uh i think y'all both look cute though nah I th what'd you think ahmed mm, not really not gonna lie to you wow ahmed that's well, i mean i appreciate it she's beautiful in her own ways you know but well, I, I think i respect both of you being honest man so give it keep it going for uh juliana and ahmed one time wow you guys can get off the stage now very nice to meet you man I was trying to put some butter on that croissant. <laughs> but you know what though? You know, I think, uh, yeah, it was, that was a... Uh... Man, you should have had me up there, bro. I know, bro. No, that's, that's, that would be toxic. <laughs> slow-mo, no. <laughs> no slow-mo, no. No, they wouldn't fit the vibe. The whole vibe of tonight was uh, wholesome vibes, you know? We're trying to make sure, you know, these, 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 are, these are young kids. These are very young, you can't like, they're still learning what they even like. 
You know, Ahmed, maybe in one year he might, you know, turn out to like, you know, he might like Daniel. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. All we can, we have to be like a, you know what this show, it's like we're like a supportive family. We, we, we have to support these, the new generation and just, you know, figuring out their identity, you know. Sam, you know, uh, you know you're, you're, you're older, so you, you have your identity. You know what you like. And uh, you're very comfortable, by the way. Like, you have your, like, leg on the stage. And the way your balls are just exposed. <laughs> You're just, you're very comfortable, but you know, Ahmed, he's still learning. He's still like, you know, he doesn't know if he likes girls yet. So we, we'll see. Thank you to all the girls. Thank you to Alyssa and Juliana for coming on stage. Thank you guys. Appreciate you. Uh, Detroit, we have, uh, we have one more show. The first time I came to Detroit was last year. I sold 240 tickets. This time I sold over 800. So thank you to Detroit, Michigan for showing me love. Uh, 